Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this short and important video lecture i will discuss some common mistakes practically on this construction site for this rcc beam so let's start guys here at the bottom portion of this beam we have four steel rods which dia is 16 mm four steel rods at the bottom and two steel rods at the top which dia is also 16 mm so guys here the first mistake is you cannot see any bent up bar or extra bars near its supports to resist shear stresses so guys you can see you don't have any extra bar or bent up bar or crank bar so this is the first mistake the second guys you can see the spacings are not properly placed near its support where we have more shear stresses right and the first stirrup should be placed with minimum two inches but you cannot see any stirrup there now guys you can see the dia of the stirrup is six millimeter here so for the commercial building or for more than two story we should provide minimum eight millimeter dia of steel bar for stirrups but this is just six millimeter so it cannot resist the shear stresses and the spacings are also not properly provided okay so look here now guys the third mistake is hooks are bent and stirrups with 90 degree so it should not be provided at 90 degree but the hooks should be provided and stirrups especially for the beam or for the column and lateral ties with 135 degree guys you can see here you cannot see 135 degree hooks so the hooks are bent with 90 degrees so therefore uh, this is not the proper design and also spacing problem die of stirrup problem and here now guys come to uh, crank bar so you cannot see any crank bar near its support to resist shear stresses but if you don't provide the crank bar so there on the junction we should provide the extra bars cut piece we should provide to resist the shear stresses but here guys you cannot see any crank bar to resist shear stresses so therefore it will provide cracks after some time on the junctions between column and slab so here you cannot see so guys this is the wrong design of the beam for this commercial building so this project will fail after some time also guys you cannot see any development length in beam look here so it's free they don't provide any development length so everything is wrong in this uh, beam design look here they just waste their time and waste their money on this project so look here so guys this is a short video to discuss about steel reinforcement especially for the beam and some common mistakes practically which i have discussed the front of you if you have any question about this video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye